an extreme case of the big head. And I want to tell you why he's got it. He's got it because of people like you, Dave. And he's got it because of people like these idiots out here who think that Ken Lucas is really something. And now everywhere he's ever wrestled all his life, he has been a bum. I mean an absolute bum. He's a nobody. Nobody had ever heard of him. I would certainly never heard of him before he came in here. Now he comes in here and all of the people think he's really hot stuff. So when Ken Lucas hears everybody cheering for him, he gets to thinking he's hot stuff. You've had your problems with him recently, though. What do you mean I've had my problems yes, with well, him? Well, I mean, Ken, we, we saw the results last week. Okay, all right. Face and all of that. Well, he, he, and then last week he won the match, right? But see, here's, I, I know that's what you're thinking, but here's the difference. There's two things in wrestling. You can either win the match or you can beat your opponent. Now, to me, beating your opponent is more important than winning the match. Now, that's what happened last week. He won the match. Oh, he got a three count, but I beat him like a dog. I beat him so bad that he don't want any more. To, he don't want I, no more. I tell you what, we just happen to have uh, have a videotape of that match. And if you don't mind, why don't you wait just a minute? Here? Wait let's, just a minute. Let's Before, take a look. Wait a minute. At... No, wait. Before we take a look at it, let me explain something to you first. Let me tell you something. Now, as long as you're going to try to pull these little tricks out of the bag and run a tape no in trick. here, We've got let me just tape. tell the people, let me give them a little background on this tape. You know, last week, like I said, Ken Lucas is an absolute nobody. I, w I could beat him 10 times in 10 minutes, and I knew this. So what I was doing before the match, I was sitting around relaxing, Jimmy and I watching a little TV in the dressing room, and I was eating a box of popcorn, okay? Now, I happen to have, I know this has happened to you, Dave. I happened to get a little piece of popcorn underneath one of my teeth, between between my teeth, you understand? I, I hear you. Now, I, that was bothering me all night long. Now, you can go ahead and roll the film, but I want you to know that's what I had on my mind, and it distracted me all night long. Now, look, let's, let's can I watch the film? Keep my microphone on, okay? Yeah, yeah, just, just watch this. Okay, now look, first of all, let me tell you, here's where everybody thinks Ken Lucas is really something. This guy couldn't break an egg with a hammer. Look at those punches. Uh -huh. You see that? Now, let me tell you something else about my tactics. I've told you about how I beat my opponents in the ring. I let them build their confidence. I, I, I lull them into a false sense of security. What I am doing right now is making Ken Lucas think that he has got the upper hand. Look at me, I ought to be in Hollywood. He ain't hurting me. He ain't hurting me a bit, and I'm just letting him pound there because, like I said, he could hit me all night and never make a dent, baby. He can't break an egg. He is a punk. He is a nobody. He's a clown. He shouldn't even be in a wrestling business. He saw, look at him right there. He saw he couldn't hurt me by beating on me, so he's starting to bite me like a little girl. Now, is that some wrestler? Look at him. This is disgusting. And you people sit out there and try to make the guy think he's really something. He is actually biting me on the face. Now, what is wrong with a guy like that? Now, look at you, Dave. You got that funny little smirk on your face now. You realize that he is. Now, look. Look at that. Yeah, yeah and this is trick right photography. Hand. We already trick. saw that once. What are they doing? They've spliced the film together and they're showing the thing, same thing over and over. Look at this. No, he just threw a lot of right punches and connected with yeah, him. Yeah, and I just happened. threw him down on his face, too, didn't I? Right into the red. Now, look here. I'm looking for a toothpick to get that popcorn out, yeah. and I can't find it. So I'm saying, Jimmy, you got a toothpick? He said, no, but why don't you run Lucas's head into the chair while we got a minute? So now look at Ken Lucas. What a dirty dog. Can you see that? It sure did. He actually used there a foreign object like count. a chair. Okay, he got the three count. Yeah, Big but who deal. was holding the foreign object? Look, what I said while ago, you got two situations. You can either win the match or you can beat your opponent. Now, he won the match, so I'm fixing to beat my opponent right here. I am fixing to do a number on this guy because I've been letting him get away with something here. I'm fixing to do a number on him. I'm fixing to beat him so bad. See, there's where he made his mistake right there. Reading for Jimmy he jumped Hart. on Jimmy Hart. Well, he shouldn't have done that because here comes the king, baby. I'm fixing to cut his lights out right now. I'm going to beat him so bad that they're going to have to empty the dressing room. They're going to have to send some wrestlers in to try to help this man. Now, you watch. Here I come. Get ready, Ken Lucas. That's right, put out the lights, it's all over for him right now. This is what you call beating your opponent. This is why I say Ken Lucas is a nobody, he is a nothing, he is not in the same league or the category as a king, and they realize this. Now the promoter, Jerry Jair, is standing in the back right now and he's seeing, uh-oh, here's Ken Lucas. He's the newest wrestler I got around here and Lawler's fixing to kill him, so I better send somebody out there to save him. So what does he do? He sends him jerks to Gibsons out here in just a minute. Now look at, look at Lucas, rolling around on the mat. He is screaming. I wish I had a microphone in the ring because right now he's crying. He's begging the referee, please get Mr. Lawler off of me before he kills me. Look at him. Let's point out it's two against one here. The oh, match is over. Two against one. You think Jimmy Hart going to hurt somebody? What's the matter with you, man? There's the Gibsons coming in to save him. Now, who is left laying on the mat? 
You will never see the king left laying like that. That's what I'm telling you. This guy is a nobody. He is a nothing. And do you realize they even had the audacity to want me to put up a, make it a world title match with this guy Christmas night. It's not going to be a world title match because he does not deserve a shot at the belt. He is not a world-class wrestler. He is not a contender. He is a nobody. They wanted me to put the belt up to make the people think he's somebody, but I'm sorry. He's got, not. Well, in spite of that, he's got the victory. Maybe he does deserve a shot How at the belt. How can he have the audacity to claim a victory when you people just saw it right there on your TVs? The film don't lie. He was left laying in the middle of the ring, and they had to come out and save him. But Would he, you call that the victor? But he won the match. His hand was raised in the Big match. Big deal. And you have to Big do deal. He is a joke. He don't belong in matches with me, much less championship match. He don't even belong in the ring with me. Beating that guy, got, now they booked him against me again, and he don't deserve a shot with me. I'll beat him, and it'll take me about five minutes to dispose of this guy. I'm not going to do what I did last week. I'm not going to let the guy think he's got the upper hand any during the match. I'm just going to beat him right in the middle okay. of the match. Okay, okay, that's it. Then I, it will be a non-title match, right? That's exactly right. Okay, non-title match. Non match. It'll be Lawler <laughs> against Ken Lucas. Coming up Christmas night, Jerry Jarrett. Jerry, uh, you heard all of that, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I did. And I, I, I want to come out here and explain something to the people. Uh, I just listened to Jerry Lawler belittle Lucas and belittle the wrestling. And, and I want to explain something. We've got a, we've got a new year starting out. Um, Buddy and I have been in negotiations with Jerry Lawler for... Uh, Oh, gee, what, two months now for a 1980 contract. Uh, you know, all the, all the people are familiar with Pete Rose and all the problems that they have in, in signing some of the big stars and, and what, the, what the different 